<laughs> Yummy. Yeah, I I remember someone once said. T someone once commented that it was weird that I thought lizard on a stick sounds yummy. Well, um, why am I leaving? Sorry. Yep. Well, we can't do much, so let's waken. I fear, your friend of the Kata, that Shapira again needs your aid. There is talk that an elemental of the earth is destroying the city. Aha! Now the interesting stuff begins again. But first, like any good hero, we should eat our breakfast. Hi. Thank you. Yummy. Okay, let's head over to um where we need to go. First, we already know that we're dealing with the Earth Elemental. So let's knock on Auntie Azizi's door and see what we can learn. Sorry they went quiet, I'm going to slow down the game a bit so I can read the next stuff and ask about Earth Elemental. Perhaps it would be well to show you as well as to tell you about such things. The essence of Earth is strength. It must be worn away before it can be captured and it is only vulnerable to flame. It might be best contained in the type of cloth sack used to hold sand in this city. We have a cloth sack. In fact, that's why I told you to buy it earlier. Because it's actually quite easy to forget. Thank her again. Farewell. Now then. You know, Rakesh seems rather stoic to me, so let's ask him about the Earth Elemental. First, let's say hi. The Earth Elemental is the magical essence of stone and rock. It is extremely dangerous and difficult to defeat unless you understand its nature. What's its nature? The nature of the Earth Elemental is to endure. It draws its strength from the very stones that make up this city. It cannot be defeated by a single blow, but must be worn your way through actions and its vulnerability to magical flame, such as a flaming sword. Huh. That's got flame. Fire disrupts the essence of Earth and allows the Elemental be de to be damaged. Without flame, the Elemental simply cannot be defeated. Oh, huh. Thank you. So flame is important for this one too. Let's go ask someone who knows about flame. Now you don't have to do this, but th these are very easy to miss points because once the earth elemental is dead, you can't get them back. Hi. Ah, I did not notice you come in. I have heard that it was you that vanished the ele elemental of air as well as of flame. Perhaps you now need to know something about the element of earth. Indeed, I do. Ask about earth elemental. The elemental of Earth is a thing of vast destructive capabilities. In my studies, I have found that to master something, you must understand it. What is Earth? That is what you need to know. Well then, teach us about Earth. Watch this. See how the Earth is consumed by the flames. Pretty amazing, isn't it? I'm sure there's a lesson to be learned of this, but I don't quite know what it might be. Now I must get back to my work. If you see something which interests you, let me know. Thank you. Hmm. Yeah. Well then, now that we know the nature of the flame, yeah, she complains about that. I'll fill my water skins later. Don't worry. 
Well then, let's go confront this earth elemental. Oh dear, already. Cast dart for the win. Gotcha. Come on, let me type. I'm just gonna type it out. Gotcha. Two flame darts. Get earth. <laughs> we now have the earth elemental. Let's go pay Auntie Azizi another visit. Now is a good time to ask her about something. I'll just wait until we're done sitting. Okay, I just wanted to get through that quickly. Well now, you know, now's the time to ask her about that tree. That is indeed a sad tale. Let me show you that of which we speak. I will tell you of a time long ago when women wore veils and were but wives and chattel to men. There was a woman, a beautiful woman, a loving woman, who wished with her very soul to become a healer and thus aid others. Just the facts, ma'am. Her father tried to dissuade her, saying that this was no task for a woman of her gentleness and sensitivity. She would go about her duties quietly, but each evening she would tell him again that she wished to become a healer. At last, her father gave in, and she was trained in the art of healing, despite the jeers and condescension of the male students and teachers. She became a healer and removed her veil forever. Right. She soon discovered that life was not easy for a woman healer. Many men distrusted her skills and refused to call upon her. Some men called upon her only to try to take advantage of her beauty. One day, a man came to her and told the tale of his brother dying in the desert. She, could, she did not trust his manner of looking at her, but she could not refuse aid to one who might need it. She followed him out of the city and into the desert. She was led to an encampment of ragged tents. She soon learned to her sorrow that the tale of the brother was but a lie. These were brigands, and what they did with her I shall not say. She tried to escape them the next day, and ran to the mountains to hide. They were swift to follow. They had nearly recaptured her when she called aloud for help. A genie heard her cry, and transformed her into a tree. What?! You could be the one to give her back her soul and free her heart from wood. You will try this, hero, will you not? Right. There are three things you must give her to save her soul. A gift of kindness, a gift of magic, and a gift of love. The gift of kindness is simple. It is only what you would give to someone who has been in the desert for far too long. You must then tell her about yourself, remind her what it is to be human. Your words are as important as this gift, for they give meaning to the act. The gift of magic is a gift of sacrifice. The gift must be something you gain through hardship and from aiding others. It must also be something from which a plant can gain strength. Tell her, then, how you got the gift and why. You will be reminding her of why she became a healer. The last gift is simple, a mere gesture of affection. Remind her that there are still people in the world who care about others. The only one you think you need to say to her now, to remind her who she is, her name is Julener, Flower of the Pomegranate. When you have done this, your part in her tale will be complete. Julener will not be able to walk this land as a human woman until another frees her with the power of true love, but you can at least free her spirit by giving her these gifts. Right, uh, what's a pomegranate? You will find her within a day's ride to the east, at the base of the mountains. May you heal the healer, Silveresti. Well, oh, that was fruitful. Well, farewell. Well, we did converse at great length. Well then. Let's take care of this. The dervish, passing a message through one of the local Bedouins, has sent for you. The dervish says, man who looks for trouble comes to the right place. He also says, 
Good comes from evil when dark is enlightened. The dervish sent for me. That's special. Well, let's take care of Julianer first. And let's just take our Saris. So, east we go. Let's speed up the travel time a bit. It won't it won't be a chore to take care of any monster we come across, so yeah. Yep, it's a lot better to um, keep uh, the speed up a bit. This doesn't take nearly as long. She's okay, folks. Don't worry about her. Well, no. Here we are. Dismount. It is now time to be the big hero. Give water. The water, as you pour it out on the ground, quickly sinks into the soil and vanishes. Well, let's tell about ourselves. You start to tell the plants about yourself and your heroes. You mention how much you wish to be a hero, and how hard it has been to overcome to become one. You then tell her about your experiences in Spielberg with the Dryad, and how you aided her by getting the seed of the spore spitting Spiria. You tell about how and why you came to Shapir, and all the friends you have made in this land of Shapir, and all the fun you have had here. Finally, you mention that you are giving her water as a simple act of kindness, that it might ease her thirst. We got her attention. Let's give Earth Elemental to her. Tell about Earth Elemental. You begin speaking about the problems facing Shapir and about the menace of the Earth Elemental. You tell how frightened the people of the city were and how scared you were to face it. Even though you were afraid, you knew that you had to protect and save your friends, so you overcame your fear and defeated the monster. Now you are giving the magical earth to her to help remind her that there is still magic in the world and that others still care about her. Ooh. She grew some plant leaves. And finally, hug. Hug tree. Dimly to parser. Juliner. Juliner's leaves rustles slightly at the sound of her name. A purple fruit has been created. The fruit of compassion drops into your hands. Juliner's gift to you for restoring her spirit. You carefully put the fruit away. We did our part. Now then, let's go and, uh... Yeah. Let's go home and go from there because... I forget how many screens it is to get to her. I don't pay attention past three because, you know, that's where you have to be. Yep. And down we go. Do do do. Yep, we're almost there. Man who talk without thinking have foot and mouth disease. Hmm. Dismount. I keep getting it mixed up. Drink. Water. You take a drink. Deep drink of the warm but refreshing water. You then check and refill all your water skins. To the west of Shapir and north of here stands a puzzle. Five W's. Huh. Let's just go out the puzzle. The lab, the task appeared by the puzzle. Yeah. When he who seeks what it is where finds out why. Ask about what? This is the heart of the puzzle. Harik may help you free the frozen heart from the body of the beast. Ask about who? If you want right answer, ask right person. Ask about where? The where is five screen links to the west of Shapir, but two screen links north of here. Okay. Ask about when, if not soon, then never. Let's ask about the puzzle gun. I think I missed one. When he who seeks what is where finds out why. Ask about